Hi guys, in this video we will learn how to work with wire model directive in Laravel live wire. So let's get started with an example. So let me show you over here. So you can see that I created a simple form with the category. Category. So that's a select drop down and also the name, price and also like status with the radio button and vendor will be the checkbox and detail will be text area. So I will show you how to use it and how to work with that. Okay, so let me go here and first of all what I will do simply go here into the component class here we will define the properties. So here I will say public and I will define name. So the first is the category. So I will say category and then I will say name. Then I will define price and then if I go here you can see that status. So I will say status and then you can see that there is a checkbox so i will say vendors so i will say vendors vendors and that should be a array okay and now if i go because it it's a multiple select over here so that's why and there is a, at the end there will be a detail property okay yeah save it okay and now what i will do simply go here and here i will be simply bind and synchronize with wire model directive okay simply i need to say category and here i will simply say name same thing i will do for the price so i will say price and same thing i need to define for the check radio button like this way so i will say status and i will say status and same thing if i go here and i will say vendors okay what we have already named so i will copy this paste it paste it okay and at the end i will do for detail okay so save it okay and also i will add wire submit directive so i will say wire submit and that will be a submit function okay if i go here i will create submit function over here so i will say submit and remove this at the end and here's just I will do info and this name and all the properties okay so I will say category price and then I will say status and then I will say vendors and then I will say details detail okay simply save it and now let me go and just yeah it's already clean refresh it and I will fill all the one okay test price will be 34 active and vendor one and two detail will be test and click on submit okay and if i go here you can see that all the data i have you can see test one 34 active and also you can see here there will be a array for the checkbox and one for the categories because we already have a defined value over here so you can see one two and three okay and same same thing for the text area you can see we can get it properly okay so this is a simple way to define the properties and synchronize okay now what i want to show you is that for example when i change the name because right now if i go here and i will simply say info and i will say this name okay its only component will change when you click on the submit okay so now if i go here let me close this refresh it okay i will add some name over here but if i go here into the log there is nothing okay let me clean it again and let me again show you if i go a name and you can see that it's only load one time it's not like re-render the component but if you want to get the value on the live mode like you know when on change or key up like when they key up or writing the name at the time you need a value so what i will do simply call live save it okay and refresh and here i will write the name you can see here and you can see that each time i am getting the value so each time the render the component again and getting the value so you can write some logic on that okay for example if i go here and over here i will simply do name variable and refresh it you can see here and let me add br over here so that way you can perfectly check yeah you can see here so how we can get every time render the value but it's every time render the value when you key up 
so it like too many times component load so what i will do i will use blur okay so blur when effect let me remove this okay and refresh it and i will simply say google google something like that and if i go here you can see that when you close out at that time it's only render okay so i think blur is the better okay like and also there is a change okay so save it okay and i will clear it okay and refresh it and same thing if i go and if i go and space then you can see it's come like when you change the focus out at that time it's call and assign the value and rewrite the component okay so i hope guys you understand how easily we can do it like key up event or blur event and change event that's all okay so i hope guys you like this video and if you like this then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys